don't know how this thing's gonna go oh in the my net. God. Oh, that's a Mondo. He choked it too. All right. Oh no. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on everyone? My name is Mitchell, back with another episode of Slammed Outdoors. And in today's episode, I actually forgot to film the intro fish for some crappie before I started fishing. And that's what you guys will so be seeing in, the, taking place in today's after video. The trip is Hope you guys over. enjoy it and but thank you guys for watching. In today's episode, I will be going fishing with my dad and my uncle up to a lake called CJ Brown Reservoir in Springfield, Ohio, if you guys know where that is. Is that? Yeah. You can tie whatever you want on it. I just that was that was the number one bait and the number one color. You just have to have them. back here really a little bit just enough on the weight there isn't yeah or just moss on the bottom one of those two not a lot of grass if there is any Hey, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Save him. I put him down. Remember that's what I caught that big walleye on. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I did with a though with a lipless crankbait last time out. You gonna put him in the tank? I'm gonna put him on my drop shot. <laughs> <laughs> that was at, at, at we caught one of those at the CJ or at Caesars last last fall. Doing the same thing. Doing just like this. With a lipless. It looked just like him. Just a little different shade. We caught two white bass on it immediately. The second one shook it off, but it was dead enough. It floated back up, dropped it right down uh, on a, uh, um, like the bridge pilings, mm -hmm. 21 inch walleye. Yeah. I'm going over one right now. Here. I don't know what I got that thing set on. You, you could go side and down. You got side scan. Okay. Well, you can, yeah. I can't figure it out. Oh, no. I got it back. Just dragged it into a rock. That being said, now he's hooked in the back. <laughs> I hooked him in the lip. I saw it. Did you catch another one? You know, honestly, maybe. I, that might be a different one. It's A rig time.
Dang, there has to be a serious oh, yeah. shelf. Not right here. <laughs> I truly expected it to be Now it, it comes up sharp on that. I mean, that, that point goes way out into where that guy's at. Yeah. There we go. Pine trees out here. That's our top spot of this. We're in four feet, just so you know. Yeah. On the swim bait. Nope, that's a fish. Big musky. This thing's gonna go oh in the net. God. Oh, that's a Mondo. He choked it too. Alright. Oh no. Yes! <laughs> okay, the swim bait is the tool of the thing. The, Good catch, Chuck. I was, a, I was about to throw the A rig over. There we go. Alright. Very cool. Good enough for me. And there he goes. Sweet. <sighs> Mike, yeah. do that again to me, I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely the least cool thing I've ever seen someone do when somebody hooked a fish. <laughs> I have to admit, that I was trying to get everything out of the way. Right on that little flat. You did. Is that the first muskie in the boat? You know, you've done it, haven't you? That's, That's the first over like That's 10 inches. I think you can just keep them. I think you're only allowed to keep one, but I think it'd be any, however big you want. I either hit a rock or I got bumped. I think I hit a rock because I threw up there. Oh. Yeah, I, that might have been one. All he Over did was stop it. It was just, it wasn't anything to write home about. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, so the clip that you guys just saw was the first muskie we caught that morning. And the clip that you're about to see is after I turned my GoPro back on, my battery was getting low and I was trying to save it. So I turned it back on right in time to see the second muskie we caught, which you guys are about to see now. Right here. <laughs> that was two inches from a figure eight. Yeah. Yep. I was like, I, I was like, you either hooked like a brick or you have one. <laughs> How deep is it here? Six feet. What? Six feet. Six feet deep. All right. Too, so 
I'm trying not to pull too hard because I know I know I can't see the bait, you know. Like yeah, I, I, I was gonna try to just swing him when he was right up. He is giant. Did you see the fish bait? I didn't, but I no. was like, I, I it, hit it right here by the boat. I'm like, you know when you hook a tree limb and it's coming up? That's what it looked like. Oh my gosh. All right. This is gonna have to be kind of a get his head in and chuck him over the side of the. He's in the lip. Oh, he is. Oh, the, the, the line's hooked under his nose. That's what he rolled that part of the drum. How are we, how we looking from a... Um... Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Get the ugly musky water down here. The storm swim bait gets it done. That's a nice fish. Oh, that's a... That would be like a 35-incher, but he got a uh, tail munched. Oh, look at him, yeah. He's got the bunched up tail. So after we caught the second muskie, nothing really happened after that. Uh, I just got stuck and didn't catch anything else in terms of muskie and our trolling motor battery was getting low. So after that, we went on to fish for crappie for about an hour. So you guys are going to get to see a clip of that right now. Uh, first fish of the day. This is the coldest crappie I think I've ever held. I'm pretty sure he's not going to go down. What do you think? All right. Thank you guys for watching today's video. We really appreciate it and hope you really enjoyed it. If you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, comment down below. If there's anything else you want to see in a future video, feel free to comment that. Thank you for your support. Remember to like and subscribe. I appreciate all of you. Have a good day. Thank you.